Number 8. 1935 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. This DDO issue is relatively popular as the only notable variety for 1935. Medium spread is evident on God We Trust, Eyelid and the Date. This issue was widely saved by the roll when released, and fully read gems are thus fairly common. Most are well struck, such as the and those from worn dies may be easy avoided. The style of three used in this coin's date was a regression to that of 1930. This specimen was sold for $576 on December 19, 2023. Number 7. 1922 No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. Graded as VF35 by PCGS. VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, Numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $1,080 on December 19, 2023. Number 6. 2018 D Roosevelt dime struck on a foreign planchet. Graded as MS60 by PCGS. Weight of this error coin is 1.5 grams it contains 98% iron. While the expected weight of a clad dime is 2.27 grams. The traditional alloy of steel is 98% iron and 1.5% copper with a trace of other elements. Thus, the present dime was struck on a steel planchet. Presumably, the planchet was purchased from a private firm that also provided planchets for foreign country coinage. According to Heritage Auctions, this off-metal, wrong planchet mint error is steel gray with hints of russet toning. The borders are softly struck, typical for an undersized planchet. No marks are of any notice. It was sold for $2,040 on December 15, 2023. Number 5. 1943's War Nickel Struck on a Steel Scent Planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. Zinc-plated steel planchets were in use for only two years at the U.S. Mint, in 1943 to strike cents, and in 1944 to strike two francs for Belgium. Thus, a two-year window existed for Jefferson Nickel struck on steel scent planchets. The present off-metal mint error displays the deep lavender gray color expected of a steel planchet. The central strike is sharp. The peripheral legends are partial and exhibit spreading toward the rim, customary for an undersized flan. It ended up selling for $3,120 on December 18, 2023. Number 4. 1943 S. Lincoln sent struck on a dime planchet. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. 943 dated cents were struck on zinc-plated steel planchets, and had a gray color different than the brown to red shades of Lincoln cents struck in other years. But the present 1943 S. cent is a wrong planchet mint error, struck on a silver dime planchet, and stands out for its golden brown toning. Circulation wear is minimal, but portions of the coin are lightly brought up. The coin has the appearance of being struck a few degrees off-center toward 2 o'clock, as trust is partial and the obverse rim is wide near 8 o'clock. It fetched a sum of $3,840. Number 3. 1974 Ike Dollar in Mint State 67. The 1974 will never be rare in most grades, but the third-party census drops dramatically at the MS67 level, and none have been certified finer at either NGC or PCGS as of December 15, 2023. This superb gem displays vibrant mint luster and medium wheat gold toning. The strike is good, and post-strike contact is only incidental. It was sold for $3,840. Number 2. 1920 Buffalo Nickel Struck on a Scent Planchet. Over the years, Heritage has auctioned two dozen or so 1920 Buffalo Nickel Struck on Scent Planchets. It appears that a bin of scent planchets was inadvertently fed into a press striking nickels that year, and a number were struck before the mistake was recognized by the coiner. The present wrong planchet error made its way into circulation, but displays only a hint of wear. The strike is soft on the bison's hair, though the devices are fairly sharp overall. It was sold for $5,280. Number 1. 
Lot of 2000 P. Sacagawea Cheerios dollar accompanied with 2000 Lincoln cent. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. New Mexico artist Glenna Goodacre, 1939 to 2020, prepared designs for the new dollar coins that were issued in 2000, featuring Sacagawea as portrayed by Randall Teton, a member of the Shoshone Bannock tribe from southeastern Idaho. As part of their promotion of the Sacagawea dollars, the U.S. Mint provided a small number of examples to General Mills for distribution in random boxes of their Cheerios cereal. Many of those dollars were spent, but others survived, often in high grades such as this superb gem. These Cheerios dollars were struck from prototype dies featuring an eagle with boldly detailed tail feathers, unlike the circulation strike coins. This lovely example has brilliant and highly lustrous satin surfaces with the distinctive golden appearance of the Sacagawea dollar coins. This two-piece set fetched a sum of $7,200 on December 15, 2023. That's all for now. Hope you enjoyed this episode and found this information helpful. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you did. See you in the next video.